Hi buddy, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 9.3. We're going to talk about heat of fusion, heat of vaporization, which would be freezing and melting, boiling and condensing. Explain why the heat of vaporization is higher than heat of fusion. Hey, we already did that. Um, given the values of heat of fusion, blah, blah, blah. So this means we've got a lot of math. So get out your calculators. Use a calorimeter. Oh, I've been waiting to do that. Um, new device. Given the lab data obtained, figure some stuff out and explain my burns from steam. Ouch! Or worse from boiling water. So here we go. Heat of fusion, delta H fuzz. See, energy change when a substance freezes or melts. The units are calories per gram or joules per gram or kilocalories per mole. So the equation is Q equals M delta H fuzz. Q equals heat. M equals mass almost all the time every once in a while it's a mole and then delta h fuzz is the um, energy to change from solid to liquid or liquid to solid okay find the delta h fuzz of 10 grams of shampoo if it takes 1.66 or 166.3 calories of heat to melt frozen shampoo at its melting point. Isn't that fun to think of frozen shampoo? I think it is. So let's check it out. So Q equals M delta H fuzz. So I'm looking for find the delta H fuzz. So this is what I'm looking for. 10 grams of shampoo. That's my mass. And Q, this is heat, right? is 166.3. So then solve for delta H fuzz by doing 166.3 divided by 10. I guess I don't need a calculator for that. That would be 16.63. Uh, we in calories, calories per gram. So notice this says calories and this says grams. So that's why it's calories per gram. Heat of vaporization, delta H vap. Energy change when a substance boils or condenses. So units are calories per gram for delta H fuzz, or joules per gram or kilocalories per mole. Notice how it's pretty much the same thing. So again, Q is heat, M is mass, and delta H vap is the heat of vaporization. So I have 9.33 grams of shampoo if it takes 279 calories, so I'm going to do this thing again. Q equals M, hello, delta H vap. So 279 calories. And mass is 9.33. And delta H equals who knows what. So then 279 divided by 9.33. I will use a calculator for that one. 279 divided by 9.33 is 29.9. And my units would be, notice it's calories, because I'm going to have calories. I'm dividing by this, which is going to be gram. Oops. Calories per gram. How much heat does it take to warm something up? Well, if I want to know how much heat it takes to warm something up, what do I need to know? I need to know how much. That's the mass. Um, how much it weighs. I should change it to how much it weighs. Which is the mass. How hot? That would be my change in temperature, which would be delta T. Um... What is it? And that's C, which is specific specific heat, right? So because it takes a different amount of energy to warm up, say, cement, which has a low specific heat versus grass. So my equation is going to be Q, that's heat, equals mass times specific heat times change in temperature. Okay, so does that make sense? Mass, change in temperature, specific heat. The units for mass would be grams. Delta T would be degrees Celsius or Kelvins. And what is it, which is going to be, maybe it's joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay. If I had 223 joules of heat to 19 grams of water, how hot does it get? So it says, how hot does it get? Or how much hotter does it get is what it should be. So if Q equals make delta T, I'll go ahead and use this up here. My Q is 223, um, 19 grams of water 
And then how much hotter does it get? Delta T. Solve for delta T. So delta T is going to equal 223. Remember the joys of cross multiplication. Divided by 19, divided by 4.18. And I get 2.80, 2.81 degrees Celsius hotter. How much heat is needed to take 5 grams of ice from minus 5 to 115 degrees Celsius? So, what you should know about ice is it melts at 0. And it boils at 100. Okay? So here's what I have to do. I have to take 5 grams of ice from minus 5 to 115. So I'm going to start at minus 5 degrees, and it's ice. And it's going to go to 0 degrees ice. And once it's 0 degrees ice, it can't get any warmer as solid ice. It has to turn into 0 degrees liquid. All right? So I'm going to warm up. I'm going to melt. Then I'm going to go from 0 to how hot can liquid get? Liquid can get up to 100. And then once it's 100 degrees liquid, it then turns into 100 degrees gas. And then the gas can get how hot? It can get all the way hot. It gets so hot you can't stand it anymore, but we'll go to 115 because it says 115 degrees gas. Okay? So when I do this, um, notice here this is a warming. This is a boil, and this is a warming. So when I warm, or if I cool, that's going to be Q equals mc delta T. And if I change state, that's going to be Q equals M delta H something, fuzz or vap. Okay. So let's look at this first one. Doop. Q equals MC delta T. Right, that'll be the first part. Plus M delta H. Ooh, which H? If I'm melting, is it fusion or is it vaporization? Well, vaporization has a vapor in it, and fusion would be solid, so it's going to be fuzz. Next part is from 0 to 100, I'm changing temperature. So that's MC delta T means change in temperature. Then I'm going to go from a liquid to a gas, plus M delta H. VAP, it's a vapor that time, right? And then I'm going to warm up my gas, MC delta T, because I'm changing temperatures. So I'm either changing temperatures or changing state. So here we go. Let's put these numbers in. It's 5 grams for each of them. 5. C for ice, C for ice, 0.5. Delta T from negative 5 to 0, 5. Mass, still 5 grams. Delta H fuzz, delta H fuzz. 80 plus make delta T still 5 grams specific heat of liquid water oops I'll be honest with you I made a typo I know this is it's 1.0 calories and then change the temperature from 0 to 100 is 100 did that without my calculator I'm so proud then I'm going to boil it still 5 grams heat of vaporization 540 Wow, that is so much bigger than my heat of fusion because it takes way more energy to turn into a gas from a liquid than it does turn into a liquid from a solid. Mass is still 5. Specific heat of a gas is 0.5. And then change of temperature is 100 to 15. Now, what I'm going to do here is because I grew up with a bad calculator, so I'm going to put down numbers in between. Um, 5 times 5 is 25 times 0.5 is 12.5. Plus, 5 times 80, 5 times 8 is 40, with an extra 0. Oh, don't. Okay, good. Plus, 5 times 1 is 5, times 100 is 500. Plus, 5 times 540, thank you, calculator, is 2,700. Plus, 5 times 15 is 50.75, half of 75 is 37.5. And then I add them up. So 12.5 plus 400 plus 500 plus 2700 plus 37.5 is 3650. That's a lot of work, calories. That I call the mother of all heat problems. Calorimetry for us. You can take a hot piece of metal and add it to cold water. The water gets warmer and the metal gets colder. 
water is hot, right? It's going to I'm sorry, the water is cold, that's why it's blue, and it's going to gain heat. The metal is hot, it's going to lose heat. So that would actually throw a negative sign in there. So for example, here's the mass of the water, initial temperature of the water, final temperature of the water, specific heat of the water, and then we've got the unknown metal. Mass of the metal, initial temperature, final temperature. Notice your final temperatures for both of them will be the same. So what I'm going to solve for is the C of the metal. So Q equals mic delta T for H2O, which is going to equal negative mic delta T for the metal. So the mass of my water is 37.5. Specific heat of water is 1. Delta T for the water is 20.1 to 24.1. That's 4. And this is going to be the mass is 86.2. Specific heat of the metal is what I'm solving for. And delta T is 98.9 minus 24.1. 98.9 minus 24.1 is 74.8. Notice how it has a much bigger temperature change because its specific heat must be much smaller. So let's solve for C. 37.5 times 4. I dropped the 1 because I'm multiplying by 1. It's just busy work. Divided by 86.2. Divided by 74.1. 37.5 times 4. Divided by 86.2. Divided by 74.1 is... Actually, this number would be... Point 023 joules per is it joules? It's calories per gram degree Celsius. Calories per gram degree Celsius, because this is in calories. Cool. Delta H VAP is bigger than delta H fusion. Boiling breaks bonds from liquid to gas. Delta H VAP. That is a huge difference. Melting breaks bonds from solid to liquid. That difference is small because remember the particles still look close together. Steam burns hurt. Steam burns hurt cause more damage than hot water burns. Um, they just hurt more, and they hurt more, and they and cause more damage than the other ones. So if you see a cooling curve, remember how long my pen is dying, but I refuse to quit. Um, my pen is dying. I said that already. So the change in heat. We'll have to check that one, fix that one when we get through it. That is the last part. Ah! So I will see you in class tomorrow.